Thank you. It's like a dog whisker. Oh, no. Yeah, it looks like a whisker. No. It's, it's a horse, like a whisker. It's a bear hair. Deer hair. Yes. Let me tangle up. Sort of C sharp in extraneous movement in between all of your things which makes it seem more connected if, if you're truly starting the music so on that beat after I will use. yes okay you're coming up a little back afterwards and you push down to start very very dramatically did anybody else see that say that's fine it's just another way of doing it because you're most likely going this way next anyway so are you talking about you can put like one and two in the same spot is what I'm saying not everyone is doing that and you don't have to do that but you put one and two in exactly the same spot now that time you traveled away on two but you don't have to do that you can put two vertical because the next place you're probably going is three anyway so so one and two can look the same but I'm not sure that's what Steele wants for the purpose of this exercise. So you should yeah. be able to do it both ways. He, sh he might want to clear a distinct two as opposed to two. Yeah. Okay. Go, go on, go on. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
on the third line. Try a different release on the last fermata. Try to get a different sound. Don't worry about the other fermata, it's just the last fermata. <laughs> <laughs> it was a more abrupt version of your previous type of release. Can you make it as gentle as possible? Just do the last two measures. Yeah. Metronome. <laughs> 